<laughs> oh, she felt that thing. <laughs> Chris, she felt Listen, that thing. Mother I was quite that. oily. Ah, he touched God. her. Yes, he we did. We were trying to allow people. We were trying to allow the church fans to get in the parking lot and get people settled. We think uh, the late Mother Catherine Bynum for that yes. A selection. Uh, uh, we give God the praise for her life and her legacy. Um, can I just be honest with you, Chris? I am uh -huh. tired. I am I am tired. <laughs> but it I'm looked pressing like, towards the mark. It I was looked like he was tired from that movie. That movie wore me out, but this week has wore me out. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you, brother. It has yeah. this has been a week, but I said I'm gonna I'm gonna get this show in the can and I may take Monday off too. I just okay. want to get on the gray. I just want to get on the greyhound and just tell the bus driver, just drive. Just drive. Just drive, take baby. Me to <laughs> Just take me anywhere. <laughs> so I'm glad to have you on tonight, Chris, because glad to be here, baby. I know you know, and like I know, uh, there's a Bob and Gilead, right? Yes, there is. <laughs> there's a Bob and Gilead, and it's blowing up, baby. Listen, and me and Chris was talking earlier. Chris was like, uh uh, don't try to disassociate yourself now. Who what, your I said, <laughs> what I said was, what I said was, Chris was. I'm not like a member member, but I do uh -huh. go to uh -huh. I do go to see the review, but I'm not like an official member. I'm really? not. I mean, I go 
I'm not on the roll over there. My people are jumping ship now. They didn't want to jump ship. No, my home going service is not gonna be there. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not a member. I'm a I'm no. a like I I go over there, I worship with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So listen, y'all. By now, I'm sure everybody has saw the news over on um Larry Reed's um Facebook um uh, channel, right? Larry Reed Live, uh, YouTube channel and whatnot about Stacey Francis. Now, Chris, we've been hearing this for about at least uh, probably a decade, about a decade. I think I heard it back when she was first born. Okay. I, I think that's when I started, I heard about it. Yeah. And, but and, see, and, my thing was, when I heard about it from the close connections that I know, he never denied it. He just didn't put it out in the public. Right, right, right. And the thing about it is, is that there's allegations of, you know, support neglect, rather, right? Right. So that's a serious allegation for somebody with his wealth, um, Bishop's wealth and his reputation. People are like, I can't believe it's not Bishop. Bishop wouldn't, you know, but l let's be honest, Chris. We're not going to call no names tonight, but it's a, this is not no damn anomaly. It's no. bishops all over America with these side kids and busted babies, right? right? But you know, it's it's not just the money thing. It's the having seen her since she was three years old. Ooh, Ugh, that's beyond the money thing in my book. That's crazy. Because let's just let's just be honest. If you're gonna be a pastor, if you're gonna be a bishop, you don't have to be perfect. But you should be above the rest of everybody else in the yeah yeah, yeah. you should be uh, 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 we hold we hold bishops and preachers to a higher standard we you ain't got to walk on water but you need to at least be able to uh, uh, put your foot on the water and try yeah. you know what I'm saying so um, you know, he, he very good speaker very eloquent speaker you know he, we gotta grab a dictionary when we listen to him preach you know it's so good. <laughs> But no, he is I, one of the. He's a great orator. He's a great yeah. wordsmith. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He is. But you know, I need you to. I need you to uh, uh, get a great word for fatherhood. You know, and even with his three children, his they're grown now. He has three children from his first wife. That was an issue back then too, because he was traveling so much. That's how uh, allegedly his 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 marriage was ended in the first because when he was wanting to move to California to take over Greater Bethany, which is now City of Refuge, the wife wasn't with it. But he yeah. was like, deuces, Beverly Hills, here I come. Oh. <laughs> and I remember I remember um, one Sunday he talked about his divorce, and he was just like, you know, sometimes people grow apart. But I think that's the standard go-to, Chris. Yeah, You know, we grew apart, and we don't, you know, yeah. And, and yeah, we always know there's something more to the story. We can all grow apart in anything that we love. Friendships kind of grow apart, but do they dissolve? You just kind of realign them maybe, but that's such an easy out for some of these folks. We just grow apart. We just grew apart. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's look at this little girl. Uh, Chris, let me take a look at the little girl and see if she, what, what, what we think here. Let's see here. Oh, oh, I see it. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Chris, I see it. Well, yeah, yeah, it's her. She got Grace Jones nose. That's yeah, that's Grace. See, that's the scary part. Like my daughter looked like my sister for years. Oh, yeah, she got Grace Jones nose and she got his eyes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bishop, uh, uh, Bishop, you you may need to come outside. <laughs> You may need to come outside because I kind of see it. But like I said, I think people are 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 just shocked because they're finding out about it. But on Bishop, you know, he's 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 been one of my bishops too. I grew up in the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World PAW, and he is a PAW bishop, right? And I, you know, even when he was you know at his height, people didn't know nothing about PAW, but we did, and we loved the fact that he was with us, you know. But even with his notoriety, he never denounced the girl uh, for for the ones who knew about it. Right. Yeah. But the uh, like I said, the other issue 
The main issue is you ain't seen this girl since she was three, Noel. The woman moved. She moved when she first had the baby. Stacy said that she moved. Uh, for, he, she, they were 45 minutes away. So he complained about that. Being 45 minutes away. So she moved around the corner to Noel. And Noel lives in a very, very upscale neighborhood. Now, the last I knew of, uh, of him, he lived in the, uh, maybe I'm, uh, you know, things have changed, but I thought he lived in the Pacific Palisades in that er area, Malibu, yes. he's still over there? Yes, far okay. as I know, unless he moved, and I know he has a some kind of condo or something right now, I'm not sure, but my thing is, so she moves around the corner for him, from him, so the daughter can, you know, have a relationship, and he don't have to go, he's so busy, he can't go 45 minutes to see his daughter. But then you don't, I don't care if she did move to London. Noel yeah. flies around the world to preach. He stays in South Africa and, and Germany and Johannesburg and uh, uh, Barcelona and uh, 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 Sri Lanka. So, you know. I think he does at Ray Bishop's at Malibu. I, I, I that is sounding a little bit more familiar. He may live. Yeah, in I, I, yeah, but I believe it's Malibu or Pacific Palisades. Yeah. Uh, one of those really nice enclaves over right. um, off of Pacific Coast Highway. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we got to le let's listen, listen. Okay. <laughs> I was just waiting to see what kind of. <laughs> Child, listen, and Chris, I hate saying allegedly. I hate saying allegedly when I know the truth. You know what I'm saying? But the way they suing bloggers right now, baby, allegedly, allegedly, and me and Chris are giving our opinions, right? So, because they suing, uh, they suing people with one million subscribers and two thousand <laughs> subscribers. So, <laughs> right. And I ain't got shit to give you. You ain't getting shit from me. But, I'm but this woman right here, she's a cold piece of work. I, I that's my opinion. Is uh, uh we have several around, files on her. Been around the world and I yeah yeah. Like girl, <laughs> I know a lot of people like girl. Why you going to Larry Reed? I mean, you need to be called down to the courthouse. You know, well, you know her reputation um, has been. You know she she's you know not to uh, she's not a stranger to bishops and. Highfalutin pastor. That's that's the that's the yeah. And, and 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 she's well known for trying to allegedly attach herself to several bishops here in the LA area and right. probably no telling where else. Allegedly, you know, they say she tries to she's tried to, you know. A, a lot of people call it a come up, some people call it cloud chasing. Some yeah. people call it all kinds of things, but whatever you want to call it, there are women out there like that that are looking for a pastor to slip up. You know what I'm saying? And she I thank God that you clarified, you clarified, Chris, because I was like, Bishop had his prostate removed. You was like, no, Thais, that was a few years ago, child. That was like, <laughs> yeah. he, this little girl, he was this little girl almost good at 61. Yeah, this little girl almost 13, honey. This was like, yeah. you know. Yeah. He, and I was like, Bishop had his prostate removed. How can he have kids? You know what he, I'm saying? I don't. I think it complicates. And he's in his seventies. You know what I'm saying? And he was 61 when she was born. Oh, so he was still. Uh, he was still. He had a couple. Of, ooh. he had a couple of guns. In the yeah. <laughs> well, you know him and Loretta when they was on. Uh, 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 um, uh, speaking of Loretta, <laughs> bless. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Loretta. Speaking of overall mother Loretta, you know, when they was on Preachers of LA, they was talking about we wasn't, we not having any intimate relations. Lies, we're not, lies, lies. We're not doing anything. And a lot of people, a lot of people, Chris, made Loretta feel bad for waiting that long for a ring. But Loretta had a she has a master plan. Don't don't y'all better be clear on Miss Loretta. Yes, she does. Because all you got to do is just, I call it the Vanessa Bryant method. Hold out. Just Stand hold out still. A while longer. <laughs> they talk about, uh, 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 I wouldn't have waited 20 years for a ring. For that ring, I would have waited 20 years for a ring. And we don't believe when, uh, I guess uh, it was asked to Stacy today, you know, has she ever had any run ins with a Loretta? 
She said, oh, yeah, we've had quite a few heated conversations. And then what she was asked, well, do you know of them being intimate? Has she told you they were intimate in the in the years, you know, that you were um, with? Him? She says no. But come on. It, they was on that show talking about they wasn't doing it. I mean, at some point, you have to think like, listen. You a man, she's a woman. Y'all ain't just sitting on the couch holding hands, eating popcorn. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Let's just keep it a bug. Somebody said Loretta got the policies, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't playing with him. Loretta's you not know playing. What you said you, when you mentioned earlier, she opened a restaurant on Noel's money. Noel wasn't the investor for her restaurant. Ah, because they was uh, uh, she was over there cooking out the kitchen at City of Refuge for a while. Oh, and that's that was. Unless that was separate. Uh, I well, mean, I know she had an actual restaurant that he invested. She did. She did. Yeah. It, 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 she uh, she did have a restaurant. But Ariel said the gumbo um, broth wasn't dark enough for her, so I never <laughs> went. She, Ariel, well, that's what counts. That's Ariel what counts. said the room was too light. Yeah, we need a dark room. We need a dark room. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I can see how Chris. Somebody can be upset. I ain't windmilling for Stacey Francis, but no, I can no, see how, I, I'm not windmilling for her, but mm -hmm. I can see how you can be kind of in your feelings when you see a wedding like this uh -huh. Uh -huh. in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And my child over here, and, and she ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? We ain't getting nothing. And I she, can see. He went to, she went, Noel went to court to modify the child support because he said they wasn't making no money during the pandemic. But then you go out and have a nice Beverly Hills wedding. But it ain't that Bishop Alma over there? It is. Okay, because she she said that allegedly uh, uh, today that uh, Bishop Alma told her to be quiet, correct? Shut her mouth. Don't say a word. Oh, wow. But you know, like you say, there's a, there's a get up. It's been said, the get along game. I'm sorry. They will protect each other. They will protect each other. This is this is not a good look for Bishop. I know they're in the middle of transitioning churches right now. Uh, from what I understand, they're in the middle of uh, getting ready to move in yeah. June to the Carson Kmart. Well, you know, I, I was trying to get exactly where they were moving. I just couldn't get it from, I, I don't understand. So you say it's the Carson Kmart? The old Carson, uh, Car Carson Kmart, yeah. That and I don't know if this is true. I don't know if you heard this rumor or not, Chris. Mm -hmm. I'm this is this this I'm putting this out here. Okay. Okay. I, I, this is my opinion. I heard this from one of my sources. Uh-huh. Are you ready? I'm ready. That Amazon allegedly is buying that church. Amazon bought the church. Okay. They bought the church for 50 million dollars. Is that why they leave it? Five zero. Okay, Amazon bought the church for fifty million dollars. Yes. Why are they leaving? I mean, why is there a problem with child support? That's what my and I think that's why she decided to come public today. First of all, she decided because she says that, of course, the girl is growing up. The girl wants to know who her real father is. Noel got salty because the girl posted the stepfather as her father and has the one that she loves and the one that's been taking care. He got salty all of a sudden because the girl posted that on her Instagram. You can't stop these kids now. We got we got social media. You can't stop them no more. Just like if they were adopted, these kids are going to, after you done did all this work for the kids you adopt, you done mm -hmm. raised them from a drug baby. Baby, they will go back and say F you and go try to find their drug addicted parents somewhere. That's just how how people do. She she loves and honors the person that is consistent, Chris. Yes. yes. And a lot of a lot of daddies, they have a problem with that. Yeah, you know they have a problem with these daddies have a problem with you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh don't be calling him daddy. I'm your daddy. I don't know you, <laughs> and you ain't gave you. my mama shit. So I don't I like. Why am I calling you daddy for what? Yeah, and so I think so. He cut off the support, or I think they're in litigation right now for it to be uh uh recap, you know, redone or whatever. But I think she probably feels first of all, okay, now my daughter is hurting because of it. 
and now you still don't want to be a father like you should. So what I got to do, and her, her envelopes are probably a little slimmer because all Stacy does is kind of do that. You know, they said she was on that um big. She brother. was on. She was on um yeah. Big Brother. She was on uh, uh uh the X Factor, one of them type of shows. Yeah, she was terrorizing the girls on R and B Divas Los Angeles. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I forgot she was on that until you told. Until you said she was on there, and then she she got to do it with the Houston allegedly. Mm. And Whitney Houston was about to beat her ass over there allegedly. So <laughs> it was on that good shit. Oh, so, Whitney said, "Honey, when they said Whitney, Whitney said, honey, I'm from New Jersey.' Yeah, yeah. You can catch all fades. Mm -hmm. I can take a fade. I can give a fade. I can give one. And let me tell you this: <clears throat> in one of Noel's good in the organization, one of his adjutants called me today, and he was just saying how you know Noel is." He done sent the PR on it here. I said, you know, tell Noel, St. James said, what he needs to do is put his old face on the camera and we want to hear him explain to us his thought pattern of how you haven't seen your child since three years old, but you will preach down a wonderful, unadulterated gospel on Sunday mornings. I need you to explain that to don't send your PR, don't send your adjective, don't send your armor bear. I want him to get on social media and give us an explanation. Okay, because I, 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 did I hear correctly? Is she supposed to be sitting down with Larry next week? She he better he better talk before she sit. She needs to reach out to Stacy, and I'm not trying to stop uh, Larry's interview by no means. But, but you she, know what? I wouldn't have announced it yet. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have either. Bam, Stacey I wouldn't have either. Mother you know, of Bishop Noah Jones' daughter. I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have put it out there because they don't try to get to Stacy before she said yes, out of there. They give Stacy envelope before she touched down in Atlanta. Because at the that, end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, 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 sometimes you have to go to these drastic measures. Right. Although I'm not capping a windmilling for Stacy, but right. sometimes you got to do this to get some action. Yeah, so uh, uh, Noel will have to come up off that fifty, some of that fifty million to shut her behind up. Well, um, the little girl is what twelve, thirteen. She's twelve. She's twelve. Okay, and I mean, like, pretty soon she'll be eighteen. She'll be, you know, going off to college or whatever her life pattern yeah. uh, takes her. And I mean, no, you only have so much time to yeah. get this right, you know. Yeah. So yeah. once 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 Stacy um, Francis gets over there and sits down and empty her guts, oh, like we was hoping, in. like we was hoping Deborah Winans was gonna do, and be, didn't do nothing but peddle that damn book is at Dollar Tree now. <laughs> but I believe Stacy, she understands reality TV. She, she understands you, and she's it's and she's in Broadway, so she gonna give a great show. Mama's going to get, she is not going to wear that wig that you saw in this picture. She's going to put on her good wig with Larry Reed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, no. She ain't wearing she that wig like that. that. <laughs> she not wearing that wig that day. Mm -mm -mm. Mama's coming with a, 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 a silky Hawaiian silky. Yes, sir. 22 inches. Give that woman a donation. Give her an envelope. Set up a a, a, a a program where you can start seeing her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say this, Chris. Like when you get Noel, Noel Jones's age, you don't need to be still glo globe trotting preaching no, like that. No. That's my personal opinion. I personally feel, and if, if somebody get this of Noel, you because I heard Noel watch the Ty East report. He do. I'm really good friends with several people he's close to. <laughs> right. So he'll see it. I'm gonna need Noel as he sold that church or what have you. I think it's time for him to retire. Yeah. I think this is a good out for him to retire. Do like Omer. Omer isn't even as old as he is, and he felt the need to retire. That's I'm still we still waiting for that though, Ty. That was a little fast. Oh, I told you, I said something. I don't know what happened. Everybody's talking about, oh mother, he just wanted to pass a baton. He just wanted to pass a stick. I said, Omer just said, give up that envelope like that. Uh, no. uh, uh, that main envelope. Mm -mm. No. Uh, it feels something in the middle. <laughs> 
Yeah, we 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 still have an investigation out. We have just a team just kind of lurking around the church. They tell me they're on it and they'll get back to me in six to eight weeks. I okay. told them I'll be here. Right. You know, because I, I don't I don't care what no, it looks good on paper, like yeah. oh. A pastor retiring early mm -hmm. before he's sick or ill. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. But, mm -mm. He's Loretta is he's looking like Omer, you know, regular Earl Omer, so he don't look sick or anything. <clears throat> Loretta is behind all of this. She wants Noel done with that child because of Stacy. Oh, I don't that's know good. about that. That's Gordon. Gordon does. He's you know. Oh. Is he the TED Talk speaker? <laughs> yeah, just, he's so optimistic. He, like when the plane is crashing, he's telling everybody, we're all going to die. <laughs> Gord, I have never heard pray. Gordon. Pray. Don't pray, we dying. <laughs> he said, this is all Loretta. No, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, St. James, mm -hmm. uh, 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 I, I just think this. I think this. These pastors, once you get to a certain plateau and a, a certain age, you don't need to be getting sloppy like this. No. This is your legacy, um, yeah. uh, Bishop Jones. You don't want this on your, uh, uh, what they call it, obituary, you know? I think they forget that kids grow up. Yeah. All these kids, J Maul, Jamal, having, and the ones that, you know, they say Murphy has, and they, and the reason why I'm saying, because they'd acknowledge the kids already. Right. Because of force, kind of a force acknowledgement. But them kids are going to grow up and they're going to want to do the same thing what Anastasia Jones wants to do find out who their father is. And, and the thing about it is that's why I say what, what Nick Cannon is doing is so reckless. First of all, oh, there's yeah. a very small chance that you can pass lupus on to one of these kids, first of all. Yeah. But you you have to understand, these kids, there's no way you can be a father to 12 kids the way you need to be a father to 12 kids. Right. And they're all mostly in different homes. Yeah. Like, yeah. people That's don't like, think it's about like that. It's like a sister's wives thing. You can't have all these wives and kids, and, th and you're not going to have the same attention uh, to all, none of them are going to get much attention. Not at all. Not at all. And you, you mentioned several people, and I hate saying allegedly when we know the damn well, it's the truth now. But, you know, uh, 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 um, William Murphy, Jamal Bryant, and there's a list of others yeah. that have been alleged to have, you know, children that, you know, they haven't really been officially claimed or some have. Some, some have been forced to be claimed. And it's sad because these are children that sometimes grow up with, uh, uh, um, grow up, Chris, mm -hmm. to be really mean and bitter people, yes. violent yes. people, they, yes. domestic violence because of the, the hurt and pain that they've experienced from neglect of a parent, you know? But if, they, if, they, if they turn out to be some kind of superstar, or have some, they all up in their face then. Mm-hmm. That's my the, boy. That's my girl. That with Stacy is she had in her mind, you know, that, you know, because she met, she said she met Noel at Emmett Smith's wedding. Noel performed Emmett Smith, the football player, Right, his wedding, and she was the singer. Now you, now you know about Emma Smith's wife, right? You okay. know about her. Okay. She used to be married. She used to be married. I say this for the Patreon. <laughs> she used to be married to uh uh. She used to be married to uh 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 Martin Lawrence. Oh, okay. okay. She's a cold piece of work too. But I'll oh. say that for another day. Go ahead, Chris. Finish up. Well, so they're at this this wedding, and that's when her and Noel meet. So they start hooking up. So in her mind, she said, as she went along, she felt they would be doing great ministry together. He would be preaching and she would be singing. Well, you know, unfortunately, you know, everybody don't have your agenda in mind. So I, I'm not going to fault Noel for not wanting, because I, I believe now the man's great. He's a great, uh, you know, or to great anointed man of God preaches well, and I'm sure he has, you know, good discernment. But you know, sometimes our peen or our puss uh, don't want to listen to discernment. We just need to get it and get it right there. You didn't want to skeet. You just want to bust. You just want to skeet and you want to scat. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but we ain't in the scat. But you know what I mean. Y'all know. What oh I mean. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, clarify that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta clarify. That. <laughs> but you know, but you know, things change, and I'm I'm to the fact, 
if she acts anything like she acted on these reality shows and all this other alleged uh, uh, characteristics that she had, I would have exited stage left too. Mm -hmm. I was Noel. But you know what? He had already planted one in her. But Noel, I'm going to need you to not uh, 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 counsel one more father. In I've been sit, I've been in the congregation. I've been in the congregation of many a Sunday. Me and my sister Ariel, rest in peace. And he'd be up there christening these babies, and yeah. you know. And I'm like, I'm sitting there crying, the little babies getting christened and stuff. I had no idea this was going on. Yeah. This deep. <laughs> and let me tell you, and I, I'm just gonna be a little bit. He used to go. <clears throat> oh man, we got 400 in the chat. Maybe we shouldn't take say too much tea. Baby, <laughs> listen. Everybody, everybody came tonight with uh, uh mysteriously with teacups in the hand. Like he used to go with the woman out of Bakersfield up the street from me, and I was uh I oh man, I mean I loved her her uh daughter. I ain't even gonna mention their name, but me and and we met through our conferences. You know, you go to like you know the coaches have <clears throat> have convocations and stuff. We have councils in the PAW, <clears throat> so we met through there. And she revealed to me one day, she says, my mother is dating Noel Jones. I said, what? <laughs> and he wasn't married. He was, he had, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or anything. but it was just amazing. I, I was like, oh, and the woman is pretty. You know, the woman and her daughter was pretty. You know, I, I was like head over heels for her. And she, um, but I was like, Oh, Noel getting some. That's why I realized. Oh, Noel getting some. <laughs> wow. wow. Well, everybody in the chat said, you know, them island men, them island men are freaks. You know what I'm saying? You know, they from Jamaica. Yeah. You and know, well, they from his, well, his sister is Grace Jones. Pull up to my bumper. Pull up, baby. Pull up. <laughs> Pull up to Slay my motherfucking bumper. Slay um. <laughs> But you know there was there was this lingering rumor. You see it on like you know Lipstick Alley. There's been this lingering rumor for years that uh, Bishop is LGBTQ. Have you heard that? I've heard that, and he 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 kind of. I, I don't know. I, do you he, buy he, that? When Boomerang came out, and she said, "Gay, my brother is gay." When you know when she said that in the day. That's when everybody, you know, people actually think. But he does agree. have a gay brother. Uh, his, I think he passed away. But he does have a gay brother. But everybody thought he they were talking about Noel. He oh. even got up on a Sunday morning and said, and my sister Grace was not talking about me. I'm not gay. I don't know where them gay rumors came from with Bishop. Bishop, I don't, I don't know about that, y'all. I don't know where them rumors came from. You I'm know, always, well. Well, I know that's what they generated from Boomerang, but now they've taken on a life of their own. Uh, but it's, it's, and a lot of times it was kind of the company he kept because some of his adjutants and close confidants around there was floating on clouds, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, really? I can't yeah. believe that. Really? You know, in your church, you know your church that you go what? to? <laughs> what? Are you serious? No. Uh, listen. There's a lot of there's a lot of the kids over there, but there's also a lot of you know like straight guys over there as well, you know. So yeah. I, I yeah. And everybody, you know, at City of Refuge, you gotta get a everybody just blends to, to find them. Everybody blends together so well because the gay people are kind of like most of the gay people are like not out, like right. and right, then right, everybody right, right, kind of right. blend together. It's really a great church, y'all. I hate this is happening. It is. I, been, I have I, friends who. I remember when Noel Jones first took over. I mean, he po, po churches in L.A. The Pentecostal Apostolic Church in L.A. was cleared out. Mm -hmm. They all went over there to City of Refuge. Yeah, and all my yeah. friends were over there, and you know, for years. So, and 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 there's a lot of he was. I think, like you said, he was. It's very a welcoming church. They don't even figure out who gay, and he don't do all that stuff over the pulpit. Right. Well, he, you know what I'm saying? You you feel very comfortable yeah. at the city of refuge. You don't ever have to worry about nobody using the F word in the pool right, pit right, 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 right. Or, or casting you. But you know what? For the people that may not know, Chris, give them a little background into how Bishop Jones got over there at Greater Bethany and eventually wound up at city of refuge. Because a lot of people may not know. They just know him as city of refuge. Right. They don't know the backstory. 
Well, um, back in the early, the, I believe it was the early 90s, uh, the, the former pastor who was the great uh, honorable bishop. McMurray. Uh, um, McMurray. Robert W. McMurray. And he was, he, and Mac Murray, and you have to think, Mac Murray's church, Greater Bethany, was the church that the Smiths used to go to. Mm -hmm. Will Smith, Jada Pekin Smith, they had a lot of uh, stars before they all kind of started going to West Angeles. Well, I, I take that back. West Angeles had their stars. Greater Bethany had their stars. Right. Okay. Bishop uh, Mac Murray became very ill. He um, he became very ill. So during his illness, the church was going down. It really was. Greater Bethany just wasn't Greater Bethany on Hoover like it was. So he started calling in different people to come preach. He would have Iona Locke come preach. Iona Locke was a member of Greater Bethany for a while. The great evangelist Iona Locke. Rest in peace. He's there uh, often. And everybody was thinking maybe Iona Locke was going to take over the church, you know. Type of mm -hmm. thing. But then he started calling in this evangelist who was preaching all over the world. And who had, oh my, who was this man? He was on, he had got on to Jake's and he was got on the TBN. He wasn't as big as he is now, no now, but he was really, everybody started knowing him and he was living in Texas at the time, Noel Jones. So he started having Noel Jones fly in on the weekends and preach at Greater Bethany. And of course, when Noel Jones started coming to preach at uh, Greater Bethany, people was coming back to the church. Mm -hmm. like, are we going? And then they heard that he was getting a divorce. Well, I, not that quick, but he was still married to the lady, but they was a little rocky. So I think when he finally moved here, she never moved here, as far as I can understand. Yeah. And when he finally she he finally moved here, that's when I believe they got a divorce. So you had a single Jamaican, good looking, good talking black man taking over a church. Of course, everybody was coming to that church. And then he changed it. When we, came from Pasadena, we, we came from Pasadena often. And, mm -hmm. you know, Manchester and Hoover back in them days was not the best of neighborhoods. No. But we still made our way over here caught down the 110 freeway because right. the services were fire. I remember going with my mother and her church friends. It was the place to be. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, Greater Bethany was a hot, hot commodity at that time. I mean, musically, Jonathan Greer was a, a, and some of the other ones that were over there at that time, they were beast. You, the choir wasn't no issue. And then Mac Murray, you know, he's my rock, my, my sword, my shield. He, <laughs> you know, that was his, that was his song, baby. When you know, because Mac Murray used to be in the back before he he only came in when it was time for him to preach. When that music uh, that going, dun, 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 then that the door would open. Mac Murray would walk in right up to the pulpit. I'm going to trust him, trust him. And he just <laughs> started singing. They had that thing like a musical production. Before there was Hillsong, before there was all these other churches, you had churches like Greater Bethany Community Church. Mm -hmm. So very, he, very leap of faith. Very <laughs> leap of faith. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. But that 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 is a great, 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 great uh, 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 breakdown of all of the the the, the beginnings, the humble beginnings. Because yeah. a lot of people just see people and they don't know how it all started. They just see him. Oh, that's Noah Johnson City of Refuge. But everybody, Chris has a star. So when he uh, just to finish it up. So when he came here, McMurray died. He took over the church. They changed the name and moved it to Cardina. There we have. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, yeah, I remember. Okay, so they, okay, so they changed the name and moved the whole church to Gardena. They moved to Gardena. Okay, did all of the members go to the new church, the or was there the was there a split? Was there some of them? <clears throat> excuse me. Like you have, you have older saints who don't like all the hoopla. Right. So. I, some of them went over to Bishop Stewart's church where Nissan Stewart is the pastor now. Some of them kind of went to the uh, some of the other, you know, smaller um, uh, Pentecostal apostolic churches. But the majority of them, but see, Noel got a lot of new people when he moved. So yeah. a lot of them old churches, uh, them churches emptied out and went over there to Noel. 
because he was Noel Jones. Right. City of Refuge is in Gardena, Marcus Atkins, Gardena. Gardena, yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, though, at the end of the day, you can't take nothing away. The man can preach you up under a table. Yeah. And those be the ones with the most complicated drama, Chris. Like, I'm the historian, Pam. She said, I'm the historian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chris, like, I could, I could come on. I could have came on and gave y'all some uh, 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 the basics about Stacy. But I, I got to bring Chris on because Chris goes way back to the old landmark. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I could have gave you the basics about what I know and what I heard. But if you want some real, real history, Chris definitely knows about it. And you uh -huh. know uh, Noel and somebody else was uh, very fond of each other and dating for a while. Lisa Ray? Lisa Ray. Mm-hmm. And there were quite a few others, but... You know, listen, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff slid under the radar. Yeah. And a lot of people don't talk about it, but you know, that's that's for another show with the Patreon. <laughs> um but something you said, Chris, it's just it's it's sad that that's the state of, of religion today where these pastors are just going around. I think about my queen Aretha Franklin and her father, CL Franklin, and how womanizing and just going from state to state had having these kids, having these women, yeah. and I'm not going to blame that on Aretha's mother's heart attack, but I'm sure stress does play a part in, in a lot of that when you know your husband is out here doing the damn most. So a lot of these women, they go through a lot. The oh, cost yeah. in, of that oil to be first lady, honey, it's a lot. So I know Loretta, yeah. Loretta probably did shake her up a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because, you know, it's that's why that honk for Jesus and the honk for Jesus special you have is so important because <clears throat> that movie ain't nothing but, you know, the gospel according to realness. Yeah. Because these first ladies, unfortunately, we have the ones that kind of are, they get, they're stressed out and they, you want to hide and cover their, their husbands. But then you have the ones that, and Loretta, I'm sorry, Miss Loretta uh, kind of takes it on as, I'm trying to be ho the Hollywood first lady. She so comes I, in. I don't have any remorse for her. She comes in with her English lady tea hats yeah. on. She sits <laughs> down and she don't really, she waved maybe at two people. And that's the all you gonna get from Loretta. Loretta yeah. has, a, she's on a mission. Loretta's yes, on an is. assignment and she knows yeah. what she wants. She, said she may wave at two people. Mm -hmm. She's not your typical first lady, Miss Loretta. Yeah, yeah. They talked about yes. her. Girl, you should have did this. I would have did this. Loretta knows what she's doing and she's knows how she's going to do it. You know, yeah. Loretta is his caregiver. Who said that? <laughs> I know that's probably right. <laughs> Loretta's his caregiver. I, listen, I don't know what Loretta do. I know she, mm. she cooks over there at her restaurant and stuff when she makes uh, different dishes and stuff. So that's I, all I, I know. I hope it's still open. I, I, yeah, I, I've never heard. I, I haven't heard anybody recently say they went to Loretta's restaurant, so it may be closed. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so before I, you know, it's be just go ahead. Before we get out of here, there's a couple of things I wanted to go over with you from pop pop culture. A few hot topics. One of them being mm -hmm. um, Tiffany Haddish. Of all people, like girl, people yeah. are really just wearing you out because of your. Airy Spears scandal, right? Why would you why would you jump in the Jonathan Majors situation, Tiffany? And now you didn't delete the tweet, but they're still dragging you. Like, girl, it's like, what were you thinking, Tiffany? Nothing ever is gonna be deleted, Tiffany, and she ought to know that. But <clears throat> she should be mute on any scandal. Anything that has to be any type of alleged abuse of any kind, Tiffany needs to shut up. Because I, I, I'm, I'm like this with the, with the whole video with the kids. Sometimes you do do things in the spare of the moment, and you don't really know how gross it looks until yeah. after the fact. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you get a little carried away in the quest for fame. So I'm yeah. gonna give her that excuse. But girl, you should be focusing on repairing your career. You know, because with black women, they, you know, people, they're very expendable in Hollywood and in our community. You see what happened yeah. to Megan 
the stallion. You see what mm -hmm. happened to Chrisette Michelle. Chrisette Michelle performed for Donald Trump and the black community threw her away, right? The yes, man that performed did. the man that performed the song with her, I think his name is Travis Green. He performed right. with her. His career is, is tripled. So he's a gospel it, guy, Travis Green. Yeah, so it goes to show you mm -hmm. black women don't get the kind of luxury. So Timothy should know that, uh, Chris. Like, girl, go yes. sit down. She like she, Miss, Miss Lisa said, mind your business. You need to mind your business that that is minding you because, um, like I said, she has way too much to recover. Right. Now, I, I think she's going to be in the new movie with Queen Latifah on it. What's that? Girls Trip 2? Girls Trip. They, 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 they boycott. They, they got petitions for that. That's what I'm saying. Right. They don't even yeah. want her in there. I'm like, y'all, let the woman get a little check. <laughs> Like, damn, they got petitions and shit. We don't want her in it. Y'all, it's not going to be girls trip without Tiffany Haddish, period. So, you know, like I you said, said. You said about the, the with her and the Spears guy when they made that. I can see as comedians how they thought that was funny. Because in it, you, you're okay, that's going to be funny. But then with the, the culture and the atmosphere that we're living in now, honey, you don't do that. No kids in the bathtub and all that. No, 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 that 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 don't fly. It it, it was it was just just really reckless and stupid. Maybe we we can put it off on. She was young, but my next one yeah. I want to talk about with you, Chris. While I have you here, is they have officially announced mm -hmm. Gail King and Charles Barkley have officially announced the new mm -hmm. CNN show. CNN don't understand. These people are not going to save y'all network. Your network is just is just shitty. It's just really shitty. Yeah. yeah. And Gail King yeah. and, and Charles Barkley, for black people, these are not the poster children for, you know, Afrocentricity. They're not. So is Gail King still on the, the coattails of Oprah? Is this what's no, still getting her I, she has. She has she has successfully carved out her own lane okay. because okay. yeah, she successfully done that because she was trying. Oprah wanted her to go with her on own, and she said no. She went with CBS, right? Yeah. So yeah. she successfully carved out her own lane. She's just problematic. She's very problematic. But uh, I, I, I'll check it out, Chris. I oh, mean, I don't man. know. It just sounds boring, and it really does. Just doesn't sound like something. Oh, I want to see the first episode. Yeah, yeah. Like no, I'm good. I, I want to see. I just want to see how bad it flop, and I'm good. Um, there's yeah. a story. There's a story out of Kansas City, I believe it. Yeah, Kansas City, where a 22 year old um, Kansas City man was sentenced to 21 years. He he met a boy, a gay boy, at the library, and he lured the boy. He lured the boy across the street into the park. Uh, mm -hmm. He told him if we're going to do something sexual. He lured mm -hmm. him with the pretense, let's do something sexual. But all the while, he was planning on killing the gay boy. You know, he even mm -hmm. texts his girlfriend, I'm about to kill this gay guy, right? Or off this gay boy, right? So, yeah. Chris, it, 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 he wind up shooting the guy, the young man, eight times, nine times in the back. Because the, the boy got over there to the bushes and thought, like, mm -mm, I'm good. Turned around, walked away, and he shot it nine times. The miracle mm. of this all is the young man survived. He's wow. in real bad shape. He's, a, he's had multiple surgeries, but God spared his life. Listen, y'all, stay out the bushes. Damn. Stay out the bushes. <laughs> but, you know, he received Ooh. 22 years. And some people under the, you know, the Hate Crime Act, the Matthew Shepard Hate Crime Act, well, some people are like, with that type of character, he really should have got life, Chris. What do you I think? Get so the, he, the boy would have have to die for him to get life? I think, you know, because he survived, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. No, that's horrible. That's horrible. Yeah, and that he, they said that man, that young man is going to have so much trauma and yeah. so much you know, for the rest of his life. So I, I don't know. But y'all stay out the libraries, the bookstores, and the bushes, please, y'all. Mother can't take <laughs> no more. It, it, it's not worth it. But there's there's so many reasons why, as gay men, we you know have to do that. You know, a lot of yeah. people don't 
really take into account for that. A lot of people go to the bushes and go behind buildings because they can't live in the and their authenticity and their truth, you know. So that's, that's why they've had to live through the church, through their families. They've had to live and skeet skirt through the bushes. They had to hide. They had, you know, so it it just manifests manifests itself in, mm -hmm. in how they look to be sexually pleasured and set, you know. So it's a shame. It's a shame. It, it, it really is sad. Um, so Loretta, uh, mm. uh, um, Stacy, Stacy, Bishop, honey, y'all better pull this together before Stacy touched down in Atlanta. Because once she gets, she was on the phone and her phone was uh, blowing up. Somebody was calling her while she was on there with Larry. It was I said, probably oh, no. Wait, gonna shut you down, baby. If she get up there to Atlanta, Mama's gonna come up there with her good wig on, <laughs> and Mama gonna cry. She may even bring that little girl with her. Yeah, she may even bring that little girl sounds, with her. It sounds to me that she's like this is her her final plea to get some type of relationship between Noel and Anastasia. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds. Like. Yeah, and whatever, and whatever I get out of this, it'll be more than I've been getting. Be more than I've had, and more than my daughter had, because. No one wants to see your daughter or your son long for their uh, parent, father or mother, and they're on every television that you turn on. You turn on Sunday morning, he may be on Daystar, you know, mm -hmm. all these, and, and that's your father, and you haven't seen him in the natural since you were three years old. Does a girl even remember when she saw him at three no. years old? No. And, and so many, and, and, a, and another thing, and another thing, I think not acknowledging your kids is worse than neglecting them. Like, I didn't know Kim Burrell had a son. I really did not. Right, right. I and didn't I, know she had a son. I didn't know Donald McClurk had, had a, they say he got a daughter and a son. Yeah, I don't know about that. Somebody keeps saying he has a daughter too. I, that's not I don't really think weird. he has a son. Yeah, I know he has a son. But yeah, I'm not sure about Don. Who who's sleeping with Donnie? What female is sleeping with Donnie? One night, he, one night we've all uh, most of us have done it, <laughs> trying to prove trying to prove something to yourself, you know, <laughs> and, and, and and mess around and had a whole child and a whole. And I think that's what happened. No, well, he messed around and Stacy, but see, I, I you know, Stacy got she got that crazy cooch, you know, that that, that, that the crazy that's so baby pure. that Eric Badu coochie. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They take. They say. Uh. Uh. They tell men don't look Erica by doing her eyes when you when y'all you know don't do it. Over for you. Mm -hmm. They say she got them Catwoman eyes. Uh huh. Uh huh. So okay, I Donnie think has a daughter. Up. Somebody said Donnie has a daughter. Wait a minute. I, I gotta. I gotta catch up. Donnie has a daughter. He said it himself. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, y'all. If y'all say it, I'm gonna go with y'all. My daughter or his real daughter? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Is it a god? Is it, is it a play is daughter? It is it a real daughter? Yeah. Uh, 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 my comments, I honey. Y'all, y'all, they type in so, honey. My comments are way behind. Okay. <laughs> y'all are a mess. But you know what, Chris? If you have any words for Bishop Noel Jones and closing, what would you tell him if you were sitting down next to him right now? What would you say, Chris? I would say, you know what, Bishop Noel Jones? I appreciate your ministry. I've listened to you for years. You have encouraged me in some great and some great times in life and some bad times of life. Your ministry has been uh, a, a fresh wind in my life. But me having issues as being raised by a single mother and having issues with no relationship with my father, I know what is up for Miss Anastasia. What you need to do is gain a real relationship with your daughter, not, not a PR relationship, a real relationship with her. You need to come out and tell the world that you have made a mistake in how you handled the situation with your daughter. We all know you're human. We all make mistakes and we are giving you the opportunity to do that. Like it, we would give any, anyone else. But once 
Every, everyone knows it now. So how about you be the Bishop Noel Jones that we all know and love and you come out of the bushes, address this, and not only address it, but move differently and more positive with your daughter. That's what I would tell her. Well, that sounds like a... a, a, a. That sounds like a, a, a great piece of advice. Chris, before I let you go, brother, let everybody know uh, 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 where they can find you at, uh, uh, all of your social media and all that good stuff. Go ahead and move that move that comment out the way. Okay. All right, and move that out the way. Okay, one <laughs> second. Uh, you know what? Let me do this. Let me do then this. Then they can just see it. Okay, hold on. I, I can do it. I can do this way. It's easier. Okay. Give me but one I second. St. James Show... So everyone, all here, all 439 people that I see, I would love for you to go over to the St. James Show. and uh, It's right there. The link is in the chat. The link is in the chat the right there. The chat. Please subscribe. You can also join my channel by being a, a monthly member. And um, we'd love to have you all. Keep all your BS over here at the Thai East group. Don't bring, I, I'm, I'm so tired right now. I'm so drained from this week. I can't wait to end this live. <laughs> I want to go in my bedroom and close the door and close the windows. I just don't want to, I just want to look at this at the ceiling, Chris. <laughs> this week has worn me thin. But you know what? It's all, but look, but in it, you have su succeeded or surpassed 7,000. Yeah. Your support financially hasn't stopped. It increased. I'm sure. It always after after this, it always does. It just and, I don't know what it is about stuff like this. People just inbox you just out randomly. I I, I just want to give you this just because I'm like, okay, well, thank you. But yeah. it always happens like that. Leslie Pays, uh, <laughs> um, Karen and the Dead Baby scandal. Every time people always stand with you, you know. And so those people were actually known. <laughs> Isn't that the clicker? I mean, God is good. God is God is good. God is <laughs> He's faithful, brother. He's and faithful. I'm gonna run on. Uh, uh, I ain't leaving this desk. Uh, 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 Wendy over there. Wendy Williams over there with her purple chair in the closet. Oh this God. chair. This chair gonna be right here. Thank you, Lamar. Lamar said he's gonna join the St. James show. Look at God. He's Please. working miracles every day. Please go by and, 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 and join you guys. I'm going to put the link in the chat one more time. Okay. Yeah, very don't, don't leave your post. My pastor used to say uh, when I didn't show up for some, uh, Chris, you, you wasn't at your post. <laughs> there is don't the link, y'all. Go by and subscribe right now. Please Amen. Do. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Kyrie. All I mean, right. Kyrie, Kyrie. <laughs> I was reading Kyrie in here. It I happens. Know, I love you, name. brother. All right. Thank you. All right. At the end of the day, you guys, at the end of the day, wait a minute, I'm trying to hit, wait a minute, I'm hitting too many things. Okay, wait a minute. Go ahead and, uh, 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 there it goes. Okay. I'm hitting way too many buttons. Okay, wait a minute, I'm getting some information from my, from my uh, security team, y'all. Hold on. Whoo, child, when I, when I end this live, honey, I'm thinking about taking Monday off too, y'all. Mother just needs, I just need some rest. I need some rest. Let me see what's going on, baby. I got some information. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, brother. Yeah, he do have a daughter. Okay, thank you, Ray. All right, y'all, listen. Did you enjoy tonight? Uh, I'm going to tell y'all something. Please don't go see the movie Evil Dead Rise. Don't go see Evil Dead Rise. It was absolutely and utterly disgusting. I wouldn't recommend it for a, a, a dog to watch. I had to stomach it, y'all. So I'm letting y'all know Evil Dead Rise is a remake of the original, y'all. Disgusting, okay? Blood and guts everywhere. Uh-huh. You enjoyed tonight? Okay, well, thank y'all. Now, listen, y'all. Most of you get out of here. I'm going to be gone for a day or two. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, we're asking everybody to sow a seed into this platform and to my bomb biage, honey. I'm out of here, honey. I'll be back Tuesday. I'm thinking about coming back Tuesday, y'all. Mother needs some days to recuperate. I know what y'all say, bitch, you'll be on tomorrow. No, I'm not, y'all. 
I need to just get on a train or a plane and get the hell up out of here. My nerves have been fried this week. Tonight was great. Well, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Okay, so why don't y'all do me a big favor? Everybody that can. Everybody that can. Sow a seed tonight of $7, okay? Or $17 or, or, or whatever. As long as it's a 7 in it, okay? And uh, it's 400 people watching. 400 damn people. Did you just come over here to get some tea? Or did you come over here to subscribe and support the platform? Okay. We're celebrating 7,000 subscribers all the way into the 30th of this month. Did you come over here to just get some tea? You know what I'm saying? Or did you come over here to support mother? Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all ain't gonna see me tomorrow. Tonight was the bomb. Okay, well, thank you, Paris. Let me tell y'all something, Pasqua. You see what happened to that boy over there in Kansas City. We got our trans family, our sister that was murdered over there in um, she was murdered over there in Atlanta, you know, Coco the doll. Y'all be careful, honey. These people out here will kill you, Ty Squad, and they won't think nothing of it. So can y'all please, please, all of my Ty Squad members be very, very careful. Dating apps, meeting up with guys, meeting up with trade. Honey, these streets are vicious. They are vicious. Um, check your zeal in a few minutes. Thank y'all. We need everybody to send uh, on the number seven. I believe somebody's sitting out there with $700. I believe that, okay? Um, we only need four more $70 pledges to close out our 10 pledges, y'all. Four more $70 pledges. We received six $70 pledges. So all we need is four more. Okay, you have until the 30th to get those pledges in. Uh, Okay, so we got to get our song together, honey. We have a guest soloist tonight. And I think after she sings, I'll come back on. This is a long song. Okay, after she do this, uh, um, then I'll come back, y'all. I'll come back. See you in the morning for Bedside Baptist. Uh, listen, okay, where'd she go, honey? This song is 10 minutes. This is a 10 minutes. Okay. I'm going to try to come back after this, y'all. I'm going to see if I can do the whole 10 minutes. Uh, as people leave, people... Get up out of here. We'll just go ahead and do this. Careful about who I sit next to. I have to, I have to, from these next two or three weeks, I have to sit next to a praiser. Because if you sit next to somebody that can say something, you can get your praise on. But just in case they don't want to, oh, I'm gonna scream until you get yours on. Look down your row and tell everybody on this row, say, listen here. I done been in ministry and I've had some things to happen. But one thing for sure, God never left me. He's always been there for me. Tell them, say, I need you for the next few minutes to help rejoice with me that I made it through. I don't look like what I've been through. I need you to help me rejoice. I've been healed. I've been delivered. Come on and praise him. Get it! 
some real praises up in here. Some folk in here really want to praise God because of the news that they're going to get. I'm talking about good news that you're going to get in the next couple of weeks. Anybody in here see some good news coming your way? And listen, for those of y'all that say you don't know how to shout, I'm going to show you how to shout. Now listen, let me ask y'all something. Do y'all know what going in means? You know what going in means? You know, going in me, this is going in. That's going in. Now, if, if you don't have it on, look tight, just hold it like this. All right? Everybody in here got to go in because there's a release that is coming to this house, a financial release that you've been waiting for for the last three years. God said this is the season that God's getting ready to allow you to walk in the abundance. Get ready and go in now! Okay, them keyboards. Is, uh, mm, I, I don't like them keyboards. I, I'm just a Hammond organ. I'm an organ person, honey. Okay. Uh, um, them synthesizers, all that, honey, Pro Tools. Uh uh. Uh uh. I need you to be in G or F or E. Uh huh. Uh huh. T turn that organ, tune that organ up a little bit, y'all. I like right, y'all. Listen, like I said, mother needs, I need a day off or two, honey, just to get myself together. Um, But I thank God that I have a village of people that understand me, that get me, that support me. I was in the movies and a message came through my phone that said that uh, 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 every time this happens, mother, every time this happens, uh, uh, um, you get something greater, a greater elevation, a greater whatever. Every time this happens, and, and they're not lying. So that message encouraged me even on this afternoon, every time this happens, y'all, when we go through anything, it's always greater and, and higher we go. So uh, 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 I'm tired, y'all. Mother's tired. Uh, uh, let me see how much we done raised, honey. And mother just gonna go get her hotel room. Uh, 
How much did we raise, honey? Let me see. Uh, I just want to give me a hotel room. Just look out the window. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, thank y'all. Uh-huh. Faith Speaks to Life. I see you. Uh, Kyrie, my brother Kyrie, Erica Johnson, Janae Everett and Darla, uh, Curtis uh, Jordan, and all of y'all. Thank y'all so much. I, I appreciate it. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, for all of those that are donating via Zelle and PayPal and where, whatever your uh, lot may be this evening, we thank y'all so much. But I got to retreat and uh, uh, recalibrate y'all. Um, mm -hmm, I would dance in heels to a hammock. Oh, okay. Who said that? All right, Ty Libra. Uh huh. We will see you from wherever you decide to go. Okay, Kyrie. All right. Or I may just stay here at the house. I have a beautiful home. So I may just stay here at the home, y'all. So uh, I love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in to this live from the Sugar Shack. We normally talk about other stuff during y'all our live from the Sugar Shack. You know what I'm saying? We don't normally do a, uh, 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 we over here at the Sugar Shack tonight. We're supposed to be talking about some other hot stuff. But uh, um, Bishop Noel Jones came and took up the whole line. Uh, with this breaking tea, everybody, uh, what will you do with the rest of the night? I am about to get into bed. I really am. I'm going to get into bed. I, I did not finish watching Power. Got to watch Power. And then um, call it a night. Then tomorrow's Sunday. Uh, you know, typical Sunday stuff, Sunday dinner. I may come on tomorrow. You never know. I may do a bedside bathroom. Who knows? Uh, but whatever I decide to do, just know that I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for all of the love, the support, whatever I put out. You guys support me, whether it be my Patreon, whether it be T-shirts, whether it be whatever. I definitely know that the Tie Squad is a real, real subscription base, and you guys are in it for the long haul. And I want to say one more time. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. We love you. We appreciate you. All of you guys that are coming in, we welcome you. You are home now, okay? All of our new subscribers, you are home. Have a good night. I went to see Rise. Uh, uh, the, what was it called? The Evil Dead Rise. Never again. All right? Uh, the church bands are out front, y'all. Y'all want to... Uh, 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 Y'all want to hear Mother Bynum one more time? Uh, uh, for the people that got here late, y'all want to hear Mother Bynum? Oh, y'all said we sick. Okay, y'all ready? I'm so glad he touched me. I'm so glad he touched me. And he made me. He Why are y'all leaving? That's Mother Catherine Bynum. I see y'all. People talking about, I'm out of here, girl. Let me go to my car. Is the van ready? Well, y'all, that is Mother Catherine Bynum. She's singing, he touched me. What's the problem? Uh, uh, Mother Bynum was a very anointed uh, uh, vocalist in her own right. What do y'all do? I don't understand. Where's everybody going? Look at Pam White. Good night, Ty Squad. Everybody talking about, good night, Mother. I'm out of here. I can't believe these people, Ray. As soon as Mother Bynum started singing, they tell me, I'm out of here, girl. Uh, the vans is out front. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Girl, y'all know what? Everybody can't be Aretha Franklin or Elizabeth Armstrong, Ty Squad. I can't believe y'all. This is some sick, uh, well, hey, sick. Wait a minute. Y'all don't like the old saints. Yes, yeah, she was. I miss her. Yeah, Deborah Davis. 
Y'all make sure y'all subscribe too. Y'all come over here and get this good tea and leave without subscribing. Uh huh. Uh, well, you know, we can get the rest of the people out of here. Uh, Mother Bynum, come back and start from the top. And uh, we can get the rest of the people to the church vans. Uh, see, like Mother Bynum is clearing the church. Hi. Okay, y'all, we're closing. The number is not moving. We're closed. We got to get up out of here, Ty Squad. The number keeps going up. Okay, Ty Squad. Okay, are y'all going to go or what? Do you have to start Mother Bottom all over again? <laughs> I love Mother Bottom's voice, and that's no shade. Uh, he touched me too, Curtis. He really did touch me. Uh, uh, why y'all ain't leaving the sanctuary, hey? Right over that other gate so people can get out. If you're blocking people's cars, you need to get uh, uh, get on out the damn gate. Uh, you got to add that racist friend to the... Oh, yeah, I got to add that to the rotation. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You can't threaten us with a praise time. Listen, I, that's what I said when Dorinda, when that thing with Dorinda, just give us that opening, Dorinda, one more time. Careful about who I sit next to. 
I have to, I have to, from these next two or three weeks, I have to sit next to a praiser. Because if you sit next to somebody that can say something, you can get your praise on. But just in case they don't want to, oh, I'm going to scream until you get yours on. You got to scream until somebody feel it, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, y'all, I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. I, I'm saying I'm taking Monday off, but y'all know me. Y'all know I can't stay away too long. Uh, I'm saying it sounds good, but I do take Sundays off, right? I do take Sunday off, but I love you guys. Um, I can't stand y'all. I'm getting out of here, y'all. Y'all are bad. Y'all are horrible. Y'all are horrible. I think I'm about to watch Tasha K and the lady that said that she got infected by her husband that was sleeping with her father. So I think I'm going to watch that, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wait a minute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What are y'all talking about? No more sheets, okay? Juanita had uh, us wearing dollies on our heads. I'm out of here. Y'all to be real bad. Well, y'all to be real bad. Have a blessed Sunday, y'all. Continue to subscribe. Continue to share. Continue to donate. Continue, continue, continue. Because the Thai Squad is here and we are not going nowhere. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all Monday if God says the same. Good night. All of my moms, all of my new moms and my current moms. You know, I love you guys so much. And my uh, 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 old school moms. I got to say some good nights, y'all. I am McDonald. Kyrie, I love you, brother. Curtis, uh, 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 Ty Libra, Darla Anderson. Uh, I don't know how Darla not a, a mod. Okay, how is Darla not a mod? Okay. Julia Wines, I see you, sis. Dr. Tonya W. We have a lot of people with PhDs over here, y'all. Uh, uh, um, Bees on Mars, thank you for that wonderful financial contribution the other day. I appreciate it. Brittany Chill, love you, sis. Let your son know the Thai Squad is 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 here and, and rooting him on in all his academic endeavors. Uh, 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 Jason Prince over in, in Houston. Kawan over there in Memphis, Tennessee. My sister Crystal Marshall. We're glad she got situated over there in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sherman Walker, uh, New York City uh, uh, jurisdiction. Miss Lisa, our uh, Mississippi ecclesiastical jurisdiction. Uh-huh, Virgo Babe, Reginald Bates. Sheila DeBose. Oh, my God, Sheila. I almost forgot. I'm glad I saw. Is this from Sheila? Make sure I got the right person. I got this today from you, Sheila. This came today from you, Sheila. Wait a minute. Let me get the camera. This came today on the day I needed it. I went to check my mailbox. Sheila, I got this today. And it just simply says, you are loved. Just as you are. You got everything you need just when you need it. And then it says you're going to make it through just when you least expect it. Uh, uh, with all kinds of beautiful notes and lamentations inside. I got this today um, from uh, my sister, Sheila DeBose. She's over in Detroit, Michigan. So thank you, Sheila. I appreciate it. I got it. Okay. Uh-huh. Love the entire squad. We love y'all. Two chefs in a pan. Love you, brother. I got to answer your question. I got your question. I'll answer it in, in just a minute. I got your question. I'll answer it. Okay. Uh-uh-uh. Love y'all. Love y'all so much. Listen, if I, if I leave this earth tonight, I know one thing, honey. I am loved. I am loved. Ain't nobody got to go and get no flowers and all that stuff. Honey, I, with Top Squad, gave me my flowers while I was here on earth. Okay? So I love y'all. I gotta go. Love y'all. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. See y'all Monday. Bye. Or maybe Tuesday. Bye.